Welcome everybody, everybody to the Red Stars' pre-match media availability. We have Natalia Cuico here with us and Coach Donaldson. As always, if you have a question, please use the raise your hand function. Uh, LT beat me to it, so LT, take it away. Hey guys, LT Red Stars report. Um, I'll start with Natalia. Uh, we've seen you play on the outside for the, the back line these last two matches. How has that um, transition been like for you? I know you've played there plenty of times in your career, but never really with uh, this club yet. Um, I mean, it's definitely um, fun to like be able to go a little bit higher on the field again. So um, definitely uh, it's good to have some training under so it get, becomes more natural again. But I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm excited. It's been fun. And I wanted to get your thoughts on uh, Hannah Anderson and how she's been uh, fitting into the back line? I think she's doing good as a rookie. It's really hard to come to this league. Honestly, who like as a first uh, year playing in this league, it's hard to come. No matter if you've been professional for many years, it's hard. So um, it's exciting to see that she gets more comfortable in the field and with the ball and just that she gets to show what she's good at. So um, I'm excited to see her um, blossom. And uh, Lauren, I'll I'll, uh, I'll I'll come to you. Uh, you switched a few things up, uh, the, switched a few things around tactically, positionally for the last week. Um, were those changes really just due to the narrow pitch at Wrigley, or were you trying new th things for the future? Yeah, you got to look at all your options. I mean, obviously we haven't we haven't been doing well at home, especially at home. So we're just trying to just. Um, push the right button and just see what works and what don't work. I didn't, I didn't think we switched that much up there, but uh, you know, second half, you know, we might throw something in just trying to get, you know, get back in the game. And uh, so, I mean, any switch we made tactically is just trying to, um, we can put the next team out balance and, you know, just, just trying to get some success. And uh, no one on this team has had the opportunity Opportunity to play or coach in uh, Kansas City's new stadium yet? Uh, how much do you think that that environment and and playing in a new location will impact this week's match? Yeah, I, I mean, I, I mean, I mean, I, I don't even worry about a new stadium and all that stuff. That's never part of my concern. That's more player stuff, and I think the players just going to just treat it like another stadium and just go play. I mean, obviously, um, again, as I say, you know, for some unknown reason, we look like we. Are a little bit more comfortable on the road so hopefully we can find that comfort zone in that stadium and just go after it all right thanks guys thanks lt joe go ahead thanks emmanuel hey uh, Al, how are you uh coach just wondering going into this weekend uh what do you see as some of the uh, things you have to focus in on uh, against the kansas city side that scored 31 goals already this year well, I mean, you just hit it right there. <laughs> we have to be very, very good as a collective group defensively, you know, and, you know, while going forward. So, I mean, it's a, it's a very, the math is very simple. We're a high scoring team in the league, so we have to limit their chances and um, we have to try to go get something, you know, of our own. Understood. And Natalia, just going forward, through a uh, first lull with this team, you know, three straight losses. I'm curious as a veteran in the locker room, how you're seeing the group respond to uh, some adversity at this point of the season. You know, I think coming from last year when where uh, this team was losing quite many games in a row. So like, I don't want to say the girls have, they're used to it, but it definitely hits a little bit different now that we've had a really great start of the season and now we have three losses. And But I think that just kind of fuels us even more that we want to show up that, you know, maybe we had a couple bad games or whatever. We are still able to like raise back to the level that we were at the beginning of the season. And, you know, also like at the end of the day, it's, it's the game. Like it's really hard to win every game. So like at the end of the day, we can't like just like go like down deep on the black hole of oh my god we lost games like no like we just gotta pick ourselves back up and focus on what we have coming ahead understood thank you so much both of you and uh, safe travels this weekend thank, thank you. you thanks joe uh Ednan, do you have a question 
Yes, sir. Go ahead. I just I want to ask uh, the coach Lorner uh, how thoughts about uh, the breaking record. Uh, maybe you talk about it, that, but how was the team feeling after uh, they find out, you know, how many people came out, even they lost, but in general, after this past week, after a few days over, how's the team feeling about having that record uh, breaking uh here in Chicago and uh, going to the future uh, you know having another uh, game in downtown maybe in the just the yeah. Of the yeah it's a it's a it's a bit bittersweet emotion I mean you know the, the record you know, you know you want to thank the people in Chicago for coming out and it just shows that um, if given the right space to play in you know we can attract people to the stadium but as I say it's bittersweet you know you know, we didn't get the result we wanted or any kind of result we wanted. So, I mean, for the players, it's the same thing. It's bittersweet. You're good. We're happy with the crowd. But again, we didn't give them what they wanted. So, I mean, but we, we were very, very thankful for them coming out. Uh, any last questions for either uh, Natalia or Coach Donaldson? So Hi, this is Allison Moran. I'm, uh, it's been a while since I've been a part of these press conferences, and uh, I, uh, it's, I'm very happy to be back at this time uh, uh, working uh, on uh, Token Female on Sports. Um, I wanted to uh, uh, ask you, Coach, um, what to, what is the... Um, main focus in terms of uh of um uh handling kansas city this uh this upcoming match um is it primarily um as you said before limiting the opportunities working more on the defensive side um what uh, where are you going to be uh placing your um your uh uh your trust in uh, in terms of uh, overcoming this uh, three-game uh, deficit that you have? Well, I mean, again, uh, obviously, they're the highest scoring team in the league, so we got to limit their chances, and then we got to try to go on the other side of the ball and try to get something, you know, so we can go in. So, so it's a little bit of both, you know, but again, you know, our focus is going to be just overall mm -hmm. team performance. You know, we just have to be better. Great. Thank you so much. Uh, looking forward to uh, seeing the match and uh, looking forward to uh, covering more of these press conferences this year. Thank you. Thanks, Allison. Thanks, everybody. And I'll have a recording out shortly. Thanks.